Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking another look at the new NVIDIA NVEC encoder that you can find on Turing series GPUs from the GTX 1660 and up. And we're going to put that up against the uh, X264 encoder set on the medium preset. Both encoders have everything else set to maximum quality. The stream is running at 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS. And the variable today is going to be bitrate. So we've got an, a, a test at 4,500 bitrate because that is the minimum that Twitch recommends for streaming at 1080p 60 FPS. We've also got a 6,000 bitrate test and an 8,000 bitrate test. So I'm going to do some side by sides. I'm also going to do uh, a triple side by side so we can see all uh, of the different bit rates for each encoder at the same time. So I'm pretty interested to check it out. This is the uh, Forza 4 or the Forza Horizon 4 benchmark. Um, it's pretty tough on the encoders just because so much movement on the screen. Uh, so I'm excited to see how this goes. So let's check it out.
All right, guys, so there we have it. That was the NVEC encoder versus X264 set on medium. Again, just as a quick summary, this was a 1920 by 1080 setup. Everything was locked at 60 FPS for consistency. And to give you guys kind of an idea of the settings, uh, we have this screen here. On the right, you'll see all of the different uh, graphical settings that I used for the benchmark. Essentially, everything was maxed except for motion blur, which we left off because it's motion blur. One thing I would like to point out uh, is the difference kind of between the NVEC encoder and X264. So here is the uh, one of the, the end screens for the NVEC encoder. You can see that the uh, you know the GPU averages and everything is, is very, very smooth. We don't have any kind of drop-offs. We don't have any kind of spikes, uh, except for two little blips there um, on, the, on the FPS count. Now, if I change this over to one of the X264, we'll see that we get, you know, CPU render and CPU simulation drops, uh, of course, because the encoder is very, very hard on the system. Uh, something else to kind of point out here, this was at the end of a benchmark. You can see up top uh, through the statistics that the uh, VRM temperature or the area of the motherboard that provides power is at 63 degrees Celsius, where running the benchmark on just the NVIDIA encoder is only at 48. So the system was much more stressed, obviously, when it's doing the X264 encoder, but that just gives you kind of an idea of how much more stressed it is. Now, in terms of the quality, I still stand that the new NVEC encoder stands up very, very well against the X264. Uh, in some cases, it does surpass it. In some cases, it still falls behind. But overall and in general, I just feel like the new NVEC encoder is just a better encoder. It's less, uh, less stressful on your system, gives you equal image quality, give or take one scene versus another. Uh, and overall, just kind of the technology and again, the system stress and system resources, it just feels like it's just the better way to go. Um, again, personal opinion, but that's kind of where I'm at. We've done uh, three of these benchmarks now. We've done the Final Fantasy 14 benchmark. We've done the World War Z benchmark. And now we've done the uh, Forza Horizon 4 benchmark. And for me in all of those, the NVEC one always seems to be coming out on top uh, for my personal preference. So as always guys, feel free to drop a comment below. I will uh, do my best to reply. Uh, like and subscribe uh, if you would care to and you guys can always catch me live at twitch.tv slash cardo I'm live five to six nights a week. So feel free to come on by drop in the chat ask some questions That's why I'm there till next time dudes be excellent stay humble and take care of each other peace out